Hello everybody! In this Swift programming tutorial, we're going to go over how to create an iOS app where you can roll a pair of dice. The first thing you want to do, let's go ahead and open up Xcode. Let's go to create a new Xcode project here. Make sure you have iOS selected here and choose single view app. Click next. Let's call this roll dice. Make sure you have Swift for the language. Click next. Go ahead and save this wherever you would like and click create. Now we want to go to our main storyboard here and we want to create our user interface for the screen of the iOS device. Let's go ahead and search for our button. This is the button we want. Let's drag it on. Let's double click it and call it roll dice. Now we want to go ahead and search for the image view. Let's go ahead and drag that on. Let's resize it. Let's go ahead and copy it and paste it. And let's go ahead and put one there and one right about there. And these two image views here and here will become the images of our dice. So let's go ahead and go to our desktop and we have the images for our dice in this folder right here and they look like this okay and we used a program called Pixelmator to create these and then we saved it as a PNG file so the next thing we want to do is go to our assets folder here let's resize this window a little bit let's open up our dice images let's go ahead and select them all and we want to drag them over and place them right here in this window. Okay, so now that we've pulled our images in, we should be able to access them. Now let's go to our view controller. Let's get rid of this function and let's get rid of these comments here. Let's go to our split screen view with the view controller and the storyboard. If you want to use the keyboard shortcut to get to the split screen view, you can click on one of your files, the view controller or the storyboard, and then click on the other file while holding down the option key. Or you can always go up here to these circles that overlap and click on that to show the assistant editor. If you want to get back to a single view, you just click here, like that, okay? Now we need to go ahead and hook up our button and our image views. So let's hook up our image views first. So click on the image view and hold down control and drag over. We're going to leave this as an outlet and we're going to call it image view one. Let's click connect. Let's hook up our second image view. And let's call this image view two. Connect. Now let's go ahead and hook up our button. And we want this button to perform an action. So let's select action. And let's call this roll dice. Let's make the type UI button. And let's click connect. Now let's go ahead and create an array that will hold the names of the dice images. The next thing we want to do is choose the iOS simulator we want to run and let's make this iPhone 7. Let's go ahead and run it and this may take just a little while and we just want to see what we have so far. Okay so we can see here on our iPhone 7 simulator the only thing that we can see so far is our roll dice button. We can't see our dice or our image views yet so let's go ahead and go up to our stop and one thing you might want to do when the screen first loads is to show some images of the dice. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we want to put that in the view did load function. Let's use our image view one, a dot image equals UI image named. And let's just go ahead and choose something 
somewhat random at this point, and we'll just say we want to load the die number six for image view one, and for image view two, let's load die number three. Now let's run this again and see what we get. So you see we get die number six and die number three. So now what we want to do is put in the functionality that will allow us to click this roll dice button and have these dice change at random, just like what would happen when you roll a pair of dice. Let's click stop. Let's go over to our roll dice function here and recall that this is hooked up to our roll dice button here. Let's put in a couple comments that will help us know what this code is doing. Now when this button is pushed and this function is activated, we want our image view one image to access the images that we pulled into our assets folder. So let's use UI image named. So here for the string, we just can't put in a normal name for the image. We want to be able to choose the images at random. So to do that, we're going to use our dice images array here that houses the names for all of the images. And then we're going to use the subscript square bracket syntax that will allow us to access the different indexes of our array here. And those indexes are going to be integer indexes starting at 0. So it will go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now since these are integer indexes, we need to be able to convert this to an integer. And to do that, we just type out int. And now we need to insert the random part. And we're going to use the arc for random uniform. Let's resize this window a little bit. And for the argument, let's just put in 6. So let's reference our notes. The arc for random uniform creates a random number from 0 to the number specified minus 1. And that will allow us to access the indexes of this array starting at 0, going up to but not including 6. So it will be 0 through 5, matching each of the indexes here, 0 through 5. So that will choose at random the images for the die for image view 1. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for image view 2. Let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. So if we've set this up correctly, when we press this button here, roll dice, these two images of the dice will simulate a roll and we'll get random numbers on each die. Okay, so we're clicking the roll dice button and you can see each time it simulates the roll of the dice. That's all we have for this Swift programming tutorial. Join us again next time.